This project is going to study a supersonic compressible flow adjacent to an F-35 plane. By clicking on the subscribe button, you will be informed about the newest CFD training videos by Mr. CFD. Or if you are watching the training video, click on the Mr. CFD logo and subscribe. So, for a variety of aerodynamic simulations, what happens in the real world physics is an incompressible isothermal fluid flow with a turbulent nature. And in order to implement this in our computational software, what we are going to do is to go to viscous tab and select an appropriate turbulence model. Afterwards, we are going to select a material that represents the material in our domain and then we are going to continue the simulation. But as you go through the, these menus, what you are going to see is that there are a variety of turbulence modeloid for our problem. These models have been sorted out from low accuracy to extremely high accuracy models. Regarding the low accuracy models, such as parallel Almeyer's model, which solves only one equation to represent the turbulency of the flow, to the LES simulation that solves large eddies inside the problem. But again, how could we choose an appropriate turbulence model? So for aerodynamic problems, it has been found that K epsilon models are going to act poorly close to the walls. Also, high accurate models such as LES, DES and even SAS models are going to cost us huge computational load since they require intensive amounts of mesh. In this regard, the two appropriate models that has been used in aerodynamic applications are the spallet Almeras and K-Omega family of models. However, it has been found that spallet Almeras model might lead to overestimation of turbulence production close to the walls and again acts poorly for high strain flows. So, spallet Almeras model could be used for initial stage of solution in order to improve the convergence. However, it could not be employed as the primary model to calculate fluid flow results. So what we are going to stick with is the K-Omega models. However, inside the K-Omega family of models, it has been found that SSD K-Omega or SSD variation known as shear stress transport is the most efficient model for calculating both near wall effects and the core flow effect. And for this reason, we're going to stick with the K-Omega SSD variation of K-Omega models. Also, ANSYS Fluent offers variety of remedies such as production limiters in order to improve the model's performance if the situation required. And for the cases that a valid experimental values exist, the user could also go through and change the model coefficients in order to capture the best performance of K-Omega SSD and other models inside the ANSYS Fluent. So as a summary, we're going to select K-Omega SSD for this problem and since isothermal condition has been considered, no further variation and remedy has been involved. However, if we had experimental values, we could have used the model's coefficient and alter them to fit the CFT results with the experimental values. Regarding our pressure outlet, since we have chosen a far boundary from our airplane, a zero pressure or let me rephrase it, a zero gauge pressure is a valid assumption for our outlet. So since we have gone through a density based uh, situation and solution procedure, we are going to select an implicit row DS based uh, solution progress for our uh, method to solve our uh, density equation, our, uh, which is, of course, based on state equation, our Navier-Stokes equation, and our continuity equation. 
This is of course on the contrary to the solution procedures such as simple algorithms or coupled procedures that we have previously used for incompressible or mildly compressible flows. So besides residual, it is recommended for us to select other parameters such as drag and lift and control them until our convergence would be validated based on them. And finally, we select our desired number of iterations for our flowing solver to calculate and iterate until our convergence has been met. After our solution has been solved, we could easily go through the results by creating contours, streamlines, vectors, and understand how the fluid flow adjacent to our uh, FCO punch body was varying. To do so, first, we are going to need a midplane for us to observe our fluid flow and have an more insights about our problem. To create our desired plane, we would easily right click on the surface tab and create a new plane and create our plane based on any method that we are more comfortable with. And to do so, in this study, we have selected a YZ plane and a, and a point which is some point close to our mid coordinate which is zero and we could easily change this point and our plane to vary and define planes wherever we wanted since post processing could be applied by a variety of software such as ansys fluent cfd post and techplot we are not going through the post process and just skipping the post process for uh, interested users to use their own software and demonstrate desired results. However, we are going to show the results that we have captured through the CFD post software and in order to show the validity of this simulation. So as, I, as you could see, I have given you a variety of results regarding our temperature velocity field on our midplane, on our plane body. And of course, I've given you the Mach number, local Mach numbers, of course, on our uh, FCO punch body for you to understand how these uh, value, variables are going to vary among our domain. However, we should really refine our mesh in order to capture a better resolution of our shock. For example, in this figure, I have given you the pressure contour on the midplane and in which you could easily uh, see and observe how the shock was varied close to our plane. However, for you to get a better uh, resemblance of the shock, it is really advised to re refine the mesh on the locations that the shock was occurred. Also, I have given you the velocity contour on our midplane, and as you could see, the formation of shock could be also observed through the velocity contour. So that's that. I hope you have enjoyed this simulation. I have given you a brief table regarding our computational settings and I of course recommend you to do this kind of simulation for yourself and gain more insight about our problems. And thank you for your attention and good luck. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Mr. CFT services such as training, consultation, or simulation, you can always come at info at and contact our expert. Thank you and good luck.